home children. Makar Sankranti is on 14th of January this year. It is also known as the festival of Uttarayan. Therefore, topic of today's session is the festival of Uttarayan. North symbolizes the height of God. South symbolizes the world's illusion. Just as the sun god travels from north to south and then from south to north, similarly, great men of knowledge of the universe travel to the north, that is to the height of God, and then to the south. They walk amongst the common man so that we too can walk with them and travel to the north to attain God, to attain the ultimate goal of our life. This is the message given by the festival of Itrayan. Let's start today's Balsanskar class by remembering respected Papuji. Now all the children will chant the mantra while touching the place of Tilak with the ring finger. Now all the children will worship Lord Suranarayan while reciting Gayatri Mantra. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Deva Siddhi Mahi Dhyo Yonaha Prachodayat Om Namaste Deva Devesha Sahestra Kirano Jwala Lok Deepa Namaste Stu Namaste Kona Vallabha Bhaskaraya Namonityam Kakolakaya Namonamaha Vishnave Kala Chakraya Somaya Mita Tejase Hey Dev Devesh, you are shining with thousands of rays. Hey Konvalab, you are the lamp for the world. We salute you. Our salutations to you, Lord Bhaskar, who is adorned with the names of Vishnu, Kal Chakra, Amit Tejasvi, Som, etc., and who illuminates the whole world by being situated in space. All the children will do a unique experiment to concentrate the mind and remove the restlessness of the mind. Tankvidya. Take a deep breath through both the nostrils and hold for some time. Now releasing the breath, do the japa of Om without opening the mouth with your head moving up and down in a manner that it gives pressure on the larynx. The process should be continued till the breath is completely exhaled. It can be practiced twice or thrice. Benefits The lung capacity and immunity power is enhanced by this experiment. Diseases related to thyroid are cured. Japa and meditation done after this exercise provides extra benefits. It opens the door of Ida and Pingla nerves and awakens Sushumna nerves as also the Vishuddhakya Kendra. Now all the ch children will chant Omkar. Hari.
children now we will do thratak thratak increases our concentration and memory power
it's time for story now the title of today's story is luck is bigger or efforts utrayan is the mourning of the deities revered bhishma had voluntarily sacrificed his body only after the sun's utrayan bhishma was a man of effort he followed a lifetime of unbroken celibacy due to which his body was healthy and strong even at the age of 105 in the war of mahabharata many warriors fell to death by becoming the target of his arrows because of his strength from celibacy he kept waiting for the sun to come in utrayan for 58 days by lying on the arrows and stopped death by bearing pain once yudhishthir asked bhishma grandfather which is best luck or effort bhishma ji said yudhishthir lord vashishth ji has asked this questions to brahma ji then brahma ji said the farmer gets the same fruit as the seed in the field a man gets the same results as per his deeds luck is not proven without effort all of the nakshatras deities yakshas moon sun indra etc have gone from human beings to devlok only making efforts today's accumulated effort becomes tomorrow's fortune those who don't make an effort they can't even use money friends wealth and good family luck is not made without good deeds even if someone is bad its effect does not remain due to strong effort those who are not industrious can never progress kauravas usurped the kingdom of pandavas pandavas got it back only by effort not by luck rishi muni has the ability to curse and bless someone only after doing penance with effort it does not depend on luck luck is a way to pacify the mind of a coward only lazy people call for fortune as the sun rises and illuminates the whole world in the same way o oh human do your effort rise and develop your self brightness like the sun glory of indian culture sanskriti suvash scientific importance of makar sankranti ancient astronomers were scientists and while studying the rays of the sun divided the path of the sun into 12 paths each path was called rashi or the zodiac sign the transition of the sun from one zodiac sign to another is called sankranti sankranti happens every month on the day of uttarayan the sun enters capricorn hence it is called makar sankranti the tamil new year starts from this day in south india there this festival is known as thai pongal sindhis call this festival as tirumari this festival is known as makar sankranti in north india and uttarayan in gujarat from this day on the length of the dark night decreases and the bright day increases the change of nature inspires us to remove the darkness of ignorance and to attain the light of enlightenment six months of human time they pass away this is merely just one night for the gods and one morning of the gods is considered to be the day of uttarayan from this day onwards the deities move around on earth in a subtle form to accept our sacrifices offerings prayers etc festival special the day of uttarayan is an auspicious day uttarayan is the dawn of the deities it is written in devi puran that those who do not bathe before sunrise on this festival they remain sick and poor for seven births taking a bath before sunrise on the day of makar sankranti 
gives the result of sacrificing 10,000 cattle. Make a decoction of gorgeran, sesame, turmeric and amla powder and apply it to your body in the morning before taking a bath in the morning. Then the body becomes vigorous, healthy and radiant. After bathing with a pure heart, put sandalwood, kumkum, red colored flowers and ganga water in a copper vessel. Face towards the direction east and offer water to the sun god thrice, chanting the Surya Gayatri Mantra and circumambulating seven times at your own place. Surya Gayatri Mantra Om Adityay Vidmahe Bhaskaraya Dhimahi Tanno Bhano Prachodayat Surya Beach Mantra Om Ram Reem Saha Suryaye Namaha Tilak is applied on the land to the land with the water that has fallen and the water is saved in the pot is drunk by chanting Mahamitrinja Mantra and Arogya Mantra then one is protected from accidents and gets also good health. Reciting or listening to Aditya Hirdes Stotra pleases Lord Surya. One who uses sesame seeds in six ways on this day gets the desired fruit in this world and also the next. There are six uses of sesame seeds for the peace of the souls of the ancestors and for their own health. Bathing with sesame seeds in water. Second, boiling with sesame seeds. Three, sacrifice for ancestors by adding sesame seeds and giving water. Four, perform yagya by putting sesame seeds in the fire. Five, donating sesame seeds. Six, consuming sesame seeds. The good deeds done on the day of Uttarayan become infinite. Feed grain to birds, ants, fish and grass, sesame seeds, jaggery, etc. to cows. If those who make good use of what they have on this day, they get a lot of benefits. Maintaining silence, chanting, whatever you do will be many times virtuous. That's why children, all of you should also take full advantage of Uttarayan festival and earn a lot of virtue. Competition time. Now it's knowledge competition time. You will be asked a question, there will be four options in the answer and you have to give the correct answer in just 10 seconds. Question. On which of the following days does the moon appear the largest? Option is. First. Duj, second day of Krishna Paksh, dark fortnight. Option 2, Chaturdashi, fourth day of Krishna Paksh. Option 3, Chaturthi, fourth day of Shukla Paksh, bright fortnight. 4, Ekadashi, eleventh day of Shukla Paksh, bright fortnight. The correct answer to this question will be told to you at the end of the session. Health Tips Today we will learn about specially beneficial in winter season sesame seeds. New jaggery and new sesame seeds come to the home on this festival. Uttrayan comes in the winter days so the body needs nutrition. Consuming sesame seeds in winter brings warmth and strength to the body. Bones, joints, skin, hair and teeth become strong. Sesame oil massage brings strength and energy. Sesame contains six times more calcium than almonds and vitamins are also abundant in sesame. Eating laddus made of sesame seeds gives sweetness and astringency and strengthens the body. That's why on this day, sesame jaggery laddus are eaten, fed and even distributed. Progressive Vision K 
King Yudhishthir asks revered Bhishma a question and Bhishma answers while lying on the bed of arrows. What kind of quality does this hero of India have? What bravery and courage of body, mind and circumstances to step on the head? What culture do we have? Uttarayan is also a day to remember that great man and also a day to inspire us to attain equanimity, knowledge and self-glory even while sleeping on the bed of arrows in the form of circumstances. No situation in the world can erase your true nature, your true self. When even death cannot destroy you, will these circumstances destroy you? This world does not have the strength to destroy us. The world is by us, not us by the world. Playtime Now we will play a fun game. Don't forget to remember the facilitator. All the children will bring a kite from their home and tie that kite to a rope. Now all the children will take the kite and fly it in the open field or on the terrace. Now let us see how well the kite flies. Now the kite which was flying high seems to be falling badly. Similarly children here some are hankering for wealth, some for power and some for beauty. These flights look beautiful till then as long as our body like kite has a relationship with that living God. If the connection with the divine Sutradhar is severed, then these kites remain lying in a bad condition in the graveyard or crematorium. So children, the divine facilitator, never forget to remember, should not be negligent in understanding our eternal relationship with the Supreme Soul. Quote of the week. Makar Sankranti means right revolution, our progress in everyone's progress, our knowledge growth in everyone's knowledge, our health in everyone's health, our happiness in everyone's happiness. Walk step by step, mix thoughts with thoughts in such a way that everyone walks on the path of God realization and cooperates with each other. Do's and Don'ts 1. Covering your head and consuming sun rays, looking towards the sky, flying kites and being happy during Uttarayan period is very beneficial. 2. It is prohibited to eat things made of sesame and sesame oil after sunset. 3. Sesame oil and sesame should not be consumed on Sundays. 4. If surgery is done, then do not consume sesame for 2 weeks. Avoid eating outside and thumbsick food. Activity time. Now it's time for action. All the children will eat and feed sesame laddus or chikki to the classmates of Balzanskar class. Homework time. This week all the children should bring sesame jaggery and some warm clothes such as socks, caps, sweaters and soles from their homes and with the help of their parents and center teachers go to poor houses and distribute sesame jaggery and warm clothes. Question and answer time. Question number one. What is the spiritual meaning of Uttarayan? Question number two. What lesson do we get from today's story? Question number three. In how many paths do the ancient scientists divide the path of Suranarayan? Question number four. What is the benefit of eating sesame in this season? Question number 5. When should sesame be avoided? Question number 6. What should one do on the day of Uttarayan to get the fruit of 10,000 cattle? Question number 7. What is the Surya Gayatri Mantra? Question number 8. What are the 6 uses of sesame on the day of Makar Sankranti? Purnauti. Narayan 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 With this, today's Balsanskar class ends. Children will meet again next week with a new knowledge enhancing topic. Till then, Hari Om! Knowledge Competition The correct answer to the question is Krishna Paksh Dooj, second day of dark fortnight. 
as it is the day closest to full moon from the given options.